Hey guys, we just finished taping the live stream, uh, but no worries. This this is the beginning. We um, doodly, doodly, yeah. doodly. <laughs> apparently fa Facebook has been having some trouble with the watch parties tonight. We've been hearing from lots of different people yeah. that that the watch parties. Are, um, I don't know. It's overtaxing the system or something. It's gone down like five times. It is. I, I know. Yeah. Face Facebook has caught the internet on fire, but we um. <laughs> So, so what, what, what we did though is we took all the live streams and we put them together in this video for you from, from tonight. And then, um, so, so that's what this is going to be. Enjoy. Yeah. Oh, and I should say, well, you shouldn't really look at this. What, this what, <laughs> I, I work on this painting and we're going to talk about the studio. So like making your own studio, some different things you want to think about, you know, some ideas for inspiration for that. And there, there was a, there was a number of people that actually followed. They hopped from us from each live stream to the next, which was really cool. It was actually, it was actually a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, we really appreciate that because I know it's good. It's cumbersome <laughs> it <laughs> is so um and, and we're probably going to do another live stream this weekend so um so i'm looking forward to that that'll yeah, be, fun. Yeah, so, be so, fun so look for that and and we'll um we'll have fun then too but thanks guys thanks i'm, I'm gonna make a recording here on, on our computer too that way if this keeps happening um you know if for some reason if the internet is going out yeah then then we'll just record this as a video and we'll and we'll put it out there but it's so much more fun to do it live but Last night I noticed that the the internet kept dropping off, and we have it hardwired in. You know, we have like a broadband hardwired too connection. Too many people, too many people trying to get online. Yeah, yeah, we're breaking the internet, guys. <laughs> we're the, the art talk. <laughs> With a... Oh my goodness! Oh, but thanks for letting us know that it went down, guys. That's that's, yeah. that's good to know. And I'll, I'll I have a I have a thing in my ear, so I should know notice that stuff. Yeah, I mean, what's funny is like. <laughs> The last the last show we did the the mics were a little wacky and hot every once in a while and then we're like tested the poo out of them a minute ago we're like yes and they sound good in my ear mm -hmm. and then the internet freezes yeah. <laughs> it's like you cannot win oh my goodness yeah in the in the sound too if the sound gets weird and if it sounds like I'm like um, really loud please let us know we're I, I've been working for like two weeks to try to fix that and. Um, you know, and so so we've been working with the mics. I, I actually Sorry, had this no, other mic like that I was working with, and um, and in about twenty minutes before this, it started making all these crackly sounds and things. So it was like, ah, <laughs> I don't know. But um, I listen to a lot of you, different streams, different podcasts, and different things like that. It seems like a lot of people have trouble with their sound and stuff. But sound is important. I'm I'm, I'm a fan it of is, sound. It so. is. I'm trying to like get back on and share it on your stuff real fast. Oh oh, I'll, thank you, sweetheart. So tell that. us really fast, because it, if it's not in the previous one, it, for people that joined us, what you're working on. Yeah, here, 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 let me show you guys really quick. So this is a drawing that I drew this morning. It's a drawing that I drew. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and um, so I wanted to do like a, you know, a face mask, but something a little bit more optimistic and happy. Like I, I've been going back and forth with several ideas, you know, and um, so I, 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 don't, I don't know. So, but... I went down with uh, lots of bright energy, lots of color, optimism, happiness. The one thing that I knew for sure is that I wanted her gaze to be looking upward. So it's not like somebody that's sad and depressed and she's moping and has her head down. They're looking to a brighter future. They're looking up. So that that's what I wanted. Um, I also wanted somebody that it seemed like there was more energy and vitality and stuff going on. So that's why I have the hair the way it is. Um, it's blowing around. There's energy. The hair is going to be brightly colored. Which colors? I don't know yet. I don't know. I like how like the the hair kind of resembles the chaos of the time, like Ooh. the moment. It's... Yeah, that's what I was going for. The chaos <laughs> of the times. Chaos. <laughs> I'm so glad you picked up on that. <laughs> Gosh, I'm smart. <laughs> and um, but I'm not sure of the of the colors and all. But you know, but I, I did I did want this idea. Like the original ideas were to have all these dark colors down here. And then up, up above, and it was going to be a much bigger painting in a way. But, but then, um, with the, the colors almost being like um, spilled ink in a way, where it's like, you know it's like clouds of color. But then up, up, up on the higher parts, it starts to go away to white. Mm -hmm. So I thought about that, and then I went away from that idea for this painting, and I wanted more up close and personal, where the top of her head is is cropped off, and in the, the bottom and all, where you know you're more up up, up in her face. It just seems like a more Personal, more intimate sort of. So, how many thing. how many of these do you think you'll do? I don't know. I want to do a couple. Like I have another for a nurse, and then I have the other one that I was working on with the other live shows, and I haven't forgotten about it. I still have it, and it's actually over over there behind 
yeah, Jackie's it's chair. behind me over here. Yeah, so I'm going to work on it some more. And I just, I wanted to do something a little bit different, you know, so I'll go back to, to that one as well. And I usually work on a number of paintings at a time, usually two or three. And um, I just finished a commission, so um, um, I think, I don't know, I, I, I may go back to that commission and work on it a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. especially, so I, I don't know. And, and as long as the painting stays in the studio, I, I work on it quite a bit. But um, but I was thinking about making the mask maybe kind of like purples and blues, her hair being blondes but also like reds and oranges and, and different colors in there. That sounds cool. And then her face, um, a mixture of all those colors, a little bit of skin tone, a little bit of pink though and yellows, um, a little bit darker down here of course. Um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking about. And I'm not going to finish the painting tonight, but I would like to get it blocked out. I don't know if I can. You know, it's just, it's like one of those things you just don't know. Oh, I'm, did, were, were you able to get everything back online, sweetheart? Hopefully. Yay. <laughs> oh, you know, and, and, and Jack, um, he's, he, he's, he's with his grandparents. It's been a month since we, you know, his grandparents have been pretty, we've been isolating. Yeah. And yeah, and Jack In hasn't fact, left the house. So. We are so isolating that I went to go get groceries today mm -hmm. and the car didn't start. Like, <laughs> was dead. <laughs> So I had to get a jump to get the car started, and yeah. apparently you shouldn't let your car sit for like 10 days. Who knew? You know, uh, <laughs> yo, and the battery's kind of old. My dad is really smart when it comes to cars and all that stuff, and he's like, oh, your battery's like five years old. We're like, is that old? <laughs> it's like, you know, for... I know. You know, it's I know. Like, if it's a like, child, it's like, you know, it's just, it's not even ready for school yet. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He came in and told me the date, and I was like, yeah, so should I, you know... But I'm, I'm going to get the oil change and all that, and that's, you know, usually when I'm like, yeah, hit it, hit it all up. <laughs> so, but um, I, I should say Mike joined us and, and is going to start some watch parties with some peeps, so thanks for oh. doing that. Oh, thank and you, then, Mike. And then um, Gina uh, joined us and said, hey, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. So yeah. this that's, will be exciting because awesome. John's going to actually paint. Yeah, yeah. So, but I want to do that. I want to get started in just, in just a minute. And, um. Um, yeah, and there are other ideas I had for, for doing things. It's, you know, the shelter in place, it's terrible, you know, why it is. And, you know, and I know there's a lot of people suffering, a lot of people that are scared and worried out there. Um, it is interesting, though, how, how it's made some people, like, change a little bit or, or things have changed and can be a little positive. Like, like I've noticed a lot more streams. I've noticed different. Um, there's a ton of people live on the interwebs now. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and also bands, you know, that have that are going online and, and, and also you see so much about people reaching out wanting to help other people, you know, and, and you know, it's terrible that that this thing is going on, this stressful, negative situation, but, um, but I don't, but I do enjoy seeing the, 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 the some of the positives, you know, you know, the, not created by it, but just some people that aren't getting I got, down. I by got it. a fancy little bird feeder sitting outside the kitchen window now. You so. do that. That was so cool. <laughs> I'm going nuts. <laughs> that was, yeah, that's 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 such a cool thing. Um, when you got another one now, you're gonna put up. Well, I got a, going I bird, got a little bird, bird crazy. Well, I mean, you know, I don't. I forget if we talked about this on Monday, but going a little stir crazy because I sit at the kitchen table with Jack doing homeschool day, and so anyway, John and him made this makeshift little bird feeder with what we had in the house, and then so today when I got the car jumped and went for some groceries, I grabbed some bird seed that they'll hopefully really like because. What we were using, what, what do you call that stuff? M millet? 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 Millet, yeah, okay. So that's like, I don't know, the iceberg lettuce to these these birds. Yeah. So, so I got some, some better seed, and we'll see if I can attract more. They're coming. They're, I mean, they're, they'll, they'll eat the seeds that are there. It's just they're not willing to risk their life to do it to come near me. Well, <laughs> so. well Hitchcock would be proud. Yes. Is Adam yeah. the Woo would say. <laughs> if anybody's ever seen his stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, since 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 we can't really travel right now and you can travel vicariously through people like the carpet bagger, Adam the Woo, all these people that make all all these blogs and stuff where they travel the country yes. and they see different things. Yes. <laughs> Oh and it, it is funny how, like, everybody is, especially with art, because, I mean, we're on a lot of art forums and Facebook pages and groups and all that sort of stuff, so we, we you know, the bulk of what we see is, you know, art stuff, but um, it's funny how, like, especially with all the art teachers, just 
I mean, it's awesome to, like, you get a little snippet of their live lesson, you know, because they'll, they'll just do it live on Facebook. I think that's so cool. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, there's no shortage of stuff to to watch. It, yeah, it, it, it's really cool. And, you you know, it's funny because, like, you get to um, being at home. Like, I, 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 I normally do a lot of speaking gigs where I'm traveling and I'm doing the talks. Um, of course, I'm not doing any of that right now. Or the traveling, but but um, I've been doing lots of talks, um, and here at home, just 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 virtually, and that's been a blast. And I was able to talk to uh, the Lighthouse for the Blind in Fort Worth this oh, week. Oh yeah, and Sean King just joined and said, "I'm here. Great job." Oh, Sean, hey man, cool. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining. Um, oh, I actually had some cool ideas about for, um, some ideas for, for um, oh a whole thing that I want to do, but I'll I'll talk about it in a minute. But but um, for. For um, games for 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 people who had who had oh, visual yeah. impairments, yeah. Jackie, who is an incredible person, um, don't tell her I said that. I don't want her head to grow. But um, it's recorded. Oh gosh, I forgot. <laughs> 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 Man, well, best laid plans. Yeah. Um, she actually she she brailed out um, settlers of Catan or Catan. Yeah. And um, so she brailed that out, and she also like like on the cards though she put like some braille letters on them, and then she made a. A document on Google Docs um, that has like the the text from the cards and stuff. So I can get the card. I can read like 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 two letters, just two little braille letters in the card. I can look it up on my phone, you know, which which will read to me, and it'll tell me all the stuff that's on the card. Awesome, so so cool. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun to to do a game board situation. And um, one of our good friends, Brian, he sent us, which is so awesome and amazing. He sent us um, Mansions of Madness, which is not, you don't necessarily need to braille it, but half of the game is it's sort of it, this is how I imagine that game. It's like D and D, but the dungeon master is your iPad, so it kind of walks you through, and you're able. To, there's only like there's barely anything that you technically can't share with somebody else you you know more about that game because you've been watching all the dorky yeah board yeah. game stuff but yeah that would be fun to do a, a show over because i you know it's funny because we've had lots of board games in our closet and i this sort of shelter in place situation has now made us pull them out and br start brailing <laughs> we don't have any you know anything else to do so let's uh braille a ton of cards yeah yeah so, so i mean and and, it, and it's kind of cool. So I thought about maybe doing a live live stream where we just played some games, um, you know. And it, it'd be kind of a long li live stream, but it's just sort of. I, I've been listening to some some videos and stuff where where people get together, and that's that's their whole channel. Yeah. On YouTube is is just playing board games, and um, but I thought it would be really interesting though if we could adapt them and make some um, some games that that. People who have visual impairments can also play. Yeah. You know, show show ways to be able to adapt them, and and what those ways are, I'm not really sure. Like we're just getting into it, but it's, I'm so excited. I am. Um, I've been listening to just hours and hours and hours of people playing board games because I'm wondering, like, oh man, is there a way to, to make this game into something else? And some of these board games are crazy. Like uh, I know yeah. Brian. Um, he's 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 one of the best, one of the smartest people that I know. And he plays. He has a board game night. Er, he has every week for a long time. And, and uh, um, I think, well, how cool is that? You know, that's really neat. But I, I thought, oh, board games. That's you know, it's like Monopoly, Risk, all this sort of stuff. <laughs> it isn't. It's it's it's. They're so different. It's like it's like it's like a movie, or a story, like a, a book that you're reading, a novel that unfolds. I mean, some of these these games are really crazy. Yeah. Unexpectedly. So we should get crazy interesting and, and, and start cool. yeah. brailing those and doing. Them. So the man, the, yeah. So, so, so the mansion ones, um, I want, I want to, I want to get into that, and that's cool that it has the app, you know, because um, that's something that um, you might be able to use a screen reader with, but but also even with that, if you're playing with other people, which you have to with the board games, then someone can help with some of those things. Well, um, Barbara Brands joined us. Oh, Bar said, um, Barbara Brand, how are so, you doing? So uh, a little late, but she's joined the party. All right. Well. You brought the party. <laughs> it's a party now. So, you did you share the the dog cam yet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> let me see. Is is Eagle even over there? No, but Chip is. Oh, is she? So this right here is is right next to me. You guys can see my hand. <laughs> 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 this is where the dogs like sleep, right next to me at my desk across from John. So, um, this is Chip, Chippy. Gosh, she's asleep. <laughs> Did she move for you? <laughs> she's super asleep. <laughs> and um, Echo or 
eagles to the side, but yeah. we thought, you know, why not? Let's set up a dog cam because they're clearly more interesting. <laughs> and this is um, and this is labeled the eagle cam, but of course, Chip, she has to take um, front stage and center. Oh, so she that's... of course, she's a brat. She's a brat. <laughs> <laughs> she, what was it like two nights ago? She, she is okay. The the guide dogs super trained. I mean, they're ridiculous. They're probably smarter than us. She's crazy and not trained at all in what well, two, two nights well okay she'll sit and wait for her food when we are giving yeah it i mean to she'll her. come when you call her and all that kind of stuff inside kind of. the house outside the house she's she hound dog and yeah, runs. She, yeah so she's mildly trained barely and uh <laughs> <laughs> it's like last two nights ago she um and it was probably me i'll admit it i, I might have left the pantry door ajar and um she she gets into the trash and pulled it out everywhere all over the front of the house <laughs> luckily john's the first person that usually gets up and luckily, had, to, yeah. had to deal with that but uh yeah then, uh, then of course i wasn't sure. even angry like you know whether you know it's like but she you know but she knew that she did something wrong because um our, our son he has a like a one of those beds where you you have the upper floor and then underneath there's like a little desk and yeah, stuff. A little loft bed yeah a little loft he has little stairs each stairs like a is a little drawer so he was up there, and, and Chip was up there with him. Like he has a little fence um, up there too. It's like it's like a little club, clubhouse thing almost. And um, and Chip wasn't coming for breakfast. And I thought, oh, I bet, I bet, I bet she knows she did something wrong. Mm. So when they're you know, hey Chippy, you in here? You know, I thought, oh, hopefully she didn't eat something bad and made herself sick. You know, but yeah, no, she's uh, I said, it's okay, sweetie. So she so, went, yeah, that's she went little, and slowly ate breakfast. That's the little monster. That's probably why she's so chubby. Little, look at her fat little belly. <laughs> <laughs> Fat little belly from eating the trash. Oh gosh. Anyway, let's go back to your painting. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the dogs. Oh, you know what though? What? We should go to the memes. Oh yeah, let's let's. Do, okay, so these are the uh, funny memes, I, and this is fitting. <laughs> it's a picture of a dog looking all crazy, and it says, "After listening her her owner drone on for hours, Ginger suddenly realized she was not cut out to be an emotional sport dog after all." <laughs> Twenty. Oh, I don't blame Ginger. That'd be a hard job. <laughs> this is uh, like an interview setting. The first top, it says, uh, and what new skills did you acquire during self-quarantine? And the bottom photo is, is of a person with their mouth covering a teapot, blowing into it, and the tea is going out the spot into a cup perfectly, <laughs> which I'd say that's a pretty good skill. Hey, that's skills, man. Um, new take on English tea. Okay, and this is a, a giant apartment building like at a 45 degree angle oh, like wow. it's about to fall over and a bunch of steel beams are barely holding it up and the b apartment building says america and each steel beam is like tiger king 1200 hundred dollar checks and memes <laughs> no that's funny i haven't so. seen ti tiger king yet but um but jack um um during 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 lunch today though he he played he played a video about me who a guy was talking about it was a funny video yeah but they were but they were talking about tiger king and all the characters and stuff and that sounds crazy it is hilarious i know there's like some you know obviously it's a lot of people like caught on and watched it and it was crazy and it's all the rage on funny stupid stuff but and there are people that are like i can't get past the stupidity and just don't watch it and uh -huh. i get it but <laughs> i don't know I, it's a train wreck that you can't turn away from and if at any point you question your own choices in life uh -huh. and you want to boost your self-esteem oh. you should watch it i, I mean like because that. it can't it's not that bad well that sounds <laughs> cool that um, <laughs> so yeah um i think the video that jack was showing me is something about like if if the woman if she actually killed her husband oh, and fed him to the tigers yeah. is that something that a tiger <laughs> could do could they could, a, could tigers actually dispose of a body we just lost the, the feed oh. this is live video interrupted Okay, well, okay. we just lost the feed. Um, we're still recording. So what I'm going to do real quick is click on the feed again. And start it back up. And go back to it. All right. We are initiating the stream. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, guys. Sorry, sorry about that. I don't know what it is tonight. Um, the Internet has the hiccups. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But um, but we're 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 recording this um as well on the on the on the um, computer, <laughs> on this on this machine. I couldn't think yeah. of what it was called. It runs on some form of electricity, I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> so let me reshare it on everything. 
So, um, so when all this is said and done, uh, we'll we'll uh, put a full un uninterrupted video in there. At least that's the, that's the plan. <laughs> we won't let the internet stop us. I know it's silly. It's silly. So, what are what do you got going on over there? What are you? Oh, uh, um, right now I started with a golden sort of yellow, like a cadmium medium hue, and then um, I went over to a fluorescent orange, and now I'm putting just a bright red. And the colors that I'm using. Um, like like the bright red has has a medium added to it. It's a it's a highly pigmented red, um, but it's transparent and highly fluid. So I'm just doing sort of a wash, but it's going to be a highly pigmented wash. But um, which is nice, so because since it is transparent a little bit, it'll shut little any of the other colors underneath it shine through a little bit. And right now, you know, if you guys are watching this, like you're like, oh, it just seems like I'm going everywhere. I kind of am. Um, I just want to make sure there's certain places that I don't want to put color. But I, I want to um, use all this as a blocking color. So all the color I'm putting on now is going to be underneath the, the colors that will come later. But it'll, it'll, it'll change it a little bit. So what I want is that, is that undulation of color that you get you know, whenever hair is flowing. So um, the more hair that's there, the, the, the darker it's going to be. You know, even if it's blonde hair, it'll, it'll get darker and darker with more hair on it. And I'm trying to get that by just adding underneath here. Um, some some different varying shades of reds and yellows and oranges and things like that. And you were going to do the mask, probably like purples and blues. Yeah, yeah. And also, um, so it's very bright colors right now in the hair, but later I'll, I'll do some more subtle sort of shifts and things with it so that, um, and I'm also going to have purples and blues up in here too, <laughs> um, but um, but not as much. And But I want it to carry, carry through, so I want, I want it you know, to be a balanced composition when everything's said and done. Um, but I thought I'd start with the hair and then um, work from there. So while you're painting, mm -hmm. why don't you tell us a little bit about what um, the difference is between the professional and the student paints? Oh, yeah. So, it's, so we, we have a video for that. And I'll post the video tomorrow. Does that sound right? I think you've already posted it. Well, it, the YouTube video is posted and I think oh, there's a oh, link yeah, on yeah, Facebook. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so 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 I think is tomorrow a good time to post it on the Facebook page or tonight or I think yeah, sure. Tonight or tomorrow. Okay. Well tonight tonight or tomorrow, um right now the the video lives on YouTube and um and all all of our videos are over there as well. But we're also building up the, the art page on Facebook. So you can you can find any of the videos oh. over on my, my art page there. But um so I'm gonna I'm gonna post that video over there. But anyway, sorry about that. The 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 main thing that I'm just you know I just want to let you know where where it is in case you guys ever want to see this because there's gonna be a little series. But the main thing about this one is that feeling that whenever you go into an art store and you walk down the paint aisle and there's a million paints. You know, it's like you're at home. You think like, you know, I've always wanted to paint, or it's been a while. You know, like I want to get back into it. And you get all excited, and you think, "All right, you know." So you get in the car, you get to the to the art store, you're still excited. You walk through the door, you find the aisle, you walk down the aisle, and then suddenly you're the, you're like, "Holy moly!" There's so, so much. many paints. It's just so much. And then you think, "Well, okay, okay, I'll just take one at a time." And then you look at the prices, and you go, "Holy moly!" Again, because <laughs> because <laughs> some of them are extremely expensive. And then you might think, and you might start thinking, like, "Well, I can't paint. I can't afford the good stuff," you know, and I. You know, if I if I want to take on a hobby, if I'm going to do something, I want to do it right. You know, so you know, obviously, I'm not going to use the student quality paint and all that. So I did a video that kind of goes into it. It's only like maybe eight minutes long, five oh, minutes five, long. Five, yeah. Yeah, so it's really quick, but it gets down to the nitty gritty of paints. Why some are more expensive? Why why some aren't? Um, what what you need? What what I use in my studio and all that. So I won't bore you with all, all that here, but because there's a video on that. Then um, I'm going to do a, um, another video on about brushes, like what you actually need, paint knives, um, you know, what what is the most beneficial for you to go and get when you first start, you know, like, you know, because you can spend, you know, you could spend $30 on each brush if you wanted, you know, I mean, you could spend more in, or you could spend a, a, a couple of dollars or, or even less, you know, you could get a, a pack of five or 10 brushes, you know, one of those little, little sample packs, but would it, you know, but would it save you money if you bought the more expensive brush? Like if you bought the brush for 10 or, you know, or what kind of brush? And then you start looking at brushes and they're, um, you know, they're, there's angle brushes, the flats, the rounds, you know, um, the filberts, oh. all these different things. I'm kind of curious about brushes because I've noticed for me, it's not even, it's more about like 
like the type of hair that's in the brush. Mm -hmm. So what is like the difference between the hairs, or or is it just like a personal preference? You know, um, it depends on what, what what you're working with. So if you're working with oils or acrylics, you might you might need a synthetic a synthetic brush might actually work better for you. Um, and, it, and it depends on what, what you're working on as well. Like, you know, if um, the, the, the type of painting that you're doing. So I want to do a whole video, and, but it's going to be another short video. All these will be short videos. So because the idea is that you'll be able to take 30 minutes. You'll be able to watch a thing about paint, a thing about brushes, a thing about uh, easels. Easels, you know, um, that's that's where you can drop the most money in the quickest amount of time. <laughs> is, oh yeah, easels. Is getting that's an easel. Thing. That's crazy. I should say really fast. Um, uh -huh. Are we out so, again? No, no, no. Oh, yay. <laughs> <laughs> the internet. You know what's funny about the whole like drop the internet dropping tonight is it. Jack is not here to suck up some of the bandwidth with his yeah. his first player shooter games, <laughs> and he's not here to do that. Yet we're getting kicked off. I, I was getting kicked off yesterday and I wasn't doing a thing. Like I wasn't even checking like Facebook or anything. I was painting and then every once in a while on my computer it would go like boop boop you're disconnected. That's weird. I don't I, know. I don't I know. Like, maybe well, maybe it's like a surge and I did okay we have Frontier. I don't know if this matters. We have Frontier and I just read an article that they filed for bankruptcy. Oh. So maybe their situation well. isn't very good. But let me say really fast. Um, so Sarah Oval which I might be um mispronouncing that said this is so awesome to watch the originals i have of your mean of yours mean so much to me oh. thanks for being a shiny light during this crazy time well thank you so much yeah, thanks for I, joining us that's awesome oh, that makes me feel so good you, man well thank you very 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 much very cool and um yeah. shin joined us said thank you john and jackie for a fun session and um uh, mike chimed in and said why blonde hair he prefers brunettes <laughs> <laughs> why blonde hair i'm curious Sorry, Mike. <laughs> um, you know, well, I started with yellow, but before I'm done with this, it's going to be blonde. It'll be every color. It's going to be blonde, brunette, orange, red, purple, and blue hair. Yeah, and you're already doing, like, purple, like, darker colors, purple, blue for the yeah. mask? Well, yeah, yeah. So, and, that makes um, sense. I, I started with blonde. It's going to be a lot of color because in, in a lot of my paintings, I, I, I don't necessarily want to get, like, a, a natural hair, cut, hair color because I'm using... The hair, almost the way I use leaves on trees, um, it, it's like the, for the emotion, it's the sound. You know, it's it's different notes and stuff. So, so, um, and that's kind of what I'm doing here. So the the hair is going to be where the energy comes from. So instead of it being necessarily like a blonde or a brunette or, um, and honestly, today with all the hair products out there, who knows what somebody's <laughs> natural color is. <laughs> We're but, all about to find out real soon. Yeah, <laughs> is what's gonna happen here. <laughs> I have like, uh, so I've, uh, I don't even want to talk about the amount of gray I see. I was, in my I was hair gonna say there's gonna be a lot of gray-haired people it's emerging. I mean, I never really, I wasn't big into coloring my hair to begin with, <laughs> but wow, oh, I'm gonna so chalk happy. it up to stress. <laughs> That made me happy. That's, but, that's um, um, oh, yeah. uh, Gina said green eyes or blue eyes would be striking. I vote green. I think that's Ooh, green. fantastic. I love that. That's kind of, you know, I, I guess I guess my knee-jerk reaction was blue because Jackie has blonde hair, blue eyes. and But the mask is going to be blue and purples. I think green yeah. would really make it pop. Green would. Green. You know, when you guys are right, you guys are right. What can I say? So, and um, Christy Bullock joined us uh, and, oh, hey. and uh, says, I love it. Well, thank represents you. Represents us all. Thank very you. nice. Very nice. Yeah, right. Right now, she's running a bit pale, but it'll <laughs> it'll change that in a in a bit. Oh, you know, um, I want to say, you know, we wanted to talk a little bit about the studio stuff as well. Yeah. And all that tonight, and um, I wanted to share something. Let me go back to, to the, the memes. memes. <laughs> yeah, the memes, just for a second. Uh, oh, but, here we go. Yeah. So. You know, one of the things, so so this is Picasso's studio, and basically what Picasso would do is buy a house. Yeah. <laughs> you know, as one does when you want to, when you want to do a little painting, <laughs> you buy a house to put it in. Um, no, but there's so many different ideas about art spaces and stuff, you know, and one of the nice things, like if you get into painting and you really enjoy painting, being able to have a dedicated space for it helps so much because you don't have to break break everything out you don't have to put everything back up again a lot of people um really enjoy painting but then the, it, that just keeps them away from it you know if you have the kids if you have um you know all this stuff going on you know the video, the video is interrupted oh is it oh, yeah here. let's do it let's let's get this back up yeah 
hopefully. Okay, so it should be starting in just a minute. <laughs> so, That's sorry funny. about that, guys. Good grief. Yeah, I know. It's weird. It's weird. It's like, you know, I think it's just our internet here. I was reading a, a thing where um, some people in the, in the in our neighborhood. Oh, there were people with power out for like yeah over twenty four hours the other day. It yeah, yeah, yeah. And the internet, of course, out out as well. So, so it might be that the and where where we are right now, the internet is just you know I don't know on yeah. fire. <laughs> Everything's on fire. <laughs> so I, I apologize, guys. I I don't, I don't know what it is, but um, but but the, we have been getting reports like on our we our our neighborhood thing on on emails um, about the, the trouble with the internet. We have like a broadband internet connection, hardwired in, and all that fun stuff. But yeah, it's silly. Yeah, but if the whole internet stream drops off, there's just nothing you can do. It just yeah. goes away. So well, anyway, but you were talking about because we're looking at an image of Picasso's yeah, yeah. studio, and I should say that you shared on the socials a article that was I think 312 famous artist studios, which was really interesting. Um, that sounds interesting. Yeah, yeah, it, that's so cool. Yeah, so this actually was one of them. Yeah, oh, yeah. So one of the, one of the interesting things about this, though, is like for for different artists, there's there's wholly different ways to to do it. Like like you have Picasso here, and then and then you have um Pollock. Which here, let me um. So you you have oh yeah yeah Jackson Pollock who basically uh, painted in a barn, um you know so it's the different styles the different ideas you know you know you you have. A gentleman who will have like an entire house and that's you know and that's that's his style and it's you know huge rooms oh you know which which it makes me think of that movie but um anthony hopkins was in where, where he played picasso oh yeah 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 what was that called was, was it called picasso probably i don't remember oh, gosh i can't even remember but it was a really good movie no you it know, probably i probably wasn't called that yeah probably not it was a really fast um uh, uh paula <laughs> um resendez joined us and says it's not just your live it's all lives doing this right now it seems like so oh. may, maybe it's just crazy right now i don't know thank you paula see the internet is on fire <laughs> <laughs> everything's on fire so and then mike says it seems like when you get a message it drops which it may be related i think because he he might be hearing that sound that your computer does whenever you get a message oh yeah but um that's been going off for i mean because i'm getting them too on my phone yeah so. yeah i have my phone so, over here right 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 next to me but i don't um, know who knows who knows yeah i don't know it's a it's a good thought it's the nature of so you know, like so, it's nice if you have a big space like that. You know, if you if you can have like a barn or you have that. Some some people like their ideal idea of a gallery is just this luxurious space with plenty of na natural light. And because I've heard I've heard painters talk about, oh, it needs to have an east facing window. And if you have that, then it's not even worth like you know going in there and painting or whatnot. Or oh oh, the light that day is a terrible day. I can't you know obviously can't paint. And, and I'm thinking, well, like, gosh, if you know, if I so, didn't paint because I couldn't see the light, like, yeah. I'd, I'd so never get anything done. So, studio is this? Is this a famous one? No, no. Oh, this, okay. this, this is just um, a dream I, studio. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I typed in, you know, like, you know, giant studio, dreamy, or whatever, and nice. and so, so I grabbed this, and um, then here, here's another idea, and this, this is just a corner of a room, and this is all. I mean. You know, and this could be an art studio. It could be a, a mud porch. It could be like you know the kitchen table, where it could be the the, the part of your house where you you know where, where maybe you have a table and it's turned into a junk collection area. Take all the junk off of it and you turn it into an art studio, or something like that. And <laughs> um, like in, when I was growing up, we used to have a pool table, and um, and it for some reason like it was next to the front door and it, it was a place where you might lay something down when you come in. And after a while, you know the the the, the pool table would get all like um, I mean, sorry, sorry about that. You you would get it would get all kind of filled up with different things, and and then you'd have to oh you'd have to go and un unload the pool table and <laughs> you know. But anyway, so but something like this though was really nice and it works great because it, it's a it's a dedicated space, um, you know, it, just a place where you can put things and, and yeah. Stuff. Well, we have um, so uh, Barb um has joined us and says I totally love this painting in your studio. Wow, um, well. I mean, the, just to clarify, the pictures are of other people's studios, <laughs> but the oh yeah, yeah, is pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, my studio looks like. And um, is this behind me? Um, <laughs> and then over there. <laughs> it's all around us. 
Yeah, I wish. I wish. Yeah, <laughs> especially the um, the whatever, whatever studio, whatever space Picasso's in. That's what I wish. My yeah, there you like. go. There you go. I don't Might know. Monet well. had a huge studio. He had a huge studio. Mm. At least in the pictures I've seen. Anyway, so um, and then uh, Vilia joined us and said, um, would like to see how your painting's going. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, I mean, let's 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 see. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just putting in a little a little bit of purple underneath uh, and, and around some areas. So I'm still just I'm, I'm blocking in the hair, and I'm um, just just doing that. So I'm putting in a little bit of, of light purple, about 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 this shade exactly. <laughs> and um, so I have the yellow and the orange and some red. And the red the, the yellow is a, is a medium cadmium, a bright red, and this really light purple. And I'm going to put in some, some darker colors as well, but I like to usually go in with the lighter colors to begin with and start start layering in the, 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 the darker colors. Now, the idea is for me to fill in all of the, the, the white space in the hair. So I would love to get all that filled in. And and then after that, I'm going to start putting in strands. Now, and once, once I get lots and lots of strands put in uh, around the hair, the idea is to go in and, 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 and re-darken the black. Like I put a medium in with the black here, so I don't know if it's fully black or if it's kind of gray. Is it totally black or is it kind of gray? The, the, bla uh, well, the black line. Our thing just got interrupted. Oh. Um, so here, let me, let me get that started again. Do, 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 do. I don't know why it does. Sorry for guys watching the video on this, and you yeah. keep saying it's time to stop, and then... Going back, so so what? Welcome back, guys. Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. Well, it um it makes me feel better that everybody's having this problem yeah. on Facebook right now. So that I don't know. that's this good. This is nuts. Yeah. Um. I'm, I, I'm glad. I'm glad that we're making a recording. Yes. I'm curious. Are you going to do any thickness to this? Not too much. A little bit, but but. What, the reason that I'm kind of leaning away from actually I might with the hair that that would be really interesting. But I'm wanting to do a lot of, um, of uh, kind of a, of a glazing technique, and, and, and with that, it really helps if it is um, thinner, you know, I because gotcha. you know, cause gotcha. like if you, because I, I want to do a wash, like a, a lot of different washes over it, and to do the wash, it's it's, it's thin, sort of semi-transparent -trans paint. And the reason that I want to do that is so that you get a depth to the hair. Um, the last, you know, the last layers though, I could I could add some some definite. Thickness too, so I might do that. That'd that's be a, cool. I think that, thickness that would be would kind be of fun. Cool. I love that idea. That's a great idea. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm adding. I'm, so the idea is to get all those covered up, and then um, the last steps will be to put in like some white and some black and stuff. Although if I add thickness, um, the thickness will go in right before I do that. Actually, I'll add the white and black, add some thickness, and then add in more color. So if I add thickness, that'll add probably about three or four more layers of doing stuff. <laughs> thickness always makes things take a lot longer, at least for the way that I do it. Well, Paula joined and said, a hundredth time is a charm. Oh. Meaning, thank you. Maybe yes, we yes. Drop. <laughs> oh my goodness, I, uh, I swear. Um, but here, let, let, let me show you guys um, something really quick on, on this. I, I just I just clicked twice, didn't I? Okay. So, is this a small one here? Uh, that's the small room? Okay. Oh, that's the back Oh, bag. Okay, um, you don't even need like an entire room or a corner of a room for a studio. Um, you you can have an art bag, and like I was saying before, I made I made a video. This is my art bag right here. Ba -ba. So, <laughs> um, so I have that video that that um, we have on YouTube right now. We have the link, but I'm gonna post that link on Facebook. Um, you could put a studio in a bag and and have everything right there. And, and the nice thing about that is that. You aren't pinned down for well, a particular space. You can paint wherever you want to. You grab the bag, you hit the door, you're done. Everything is in there. You can literally be painting in minutes. If and even if like you paint at the house and maybe you know there's so many people in the house or you know things are chaotic or you don't know maybe you can paint at the kitchen table today. Maybe it's the living room floor tomorrow. You don't know. Having everything and something that's so transportable really really helps and just makes it where it's easier to go in and start painting. Some people don't have a studio at all. <laughs> Just go outside and enjoy it. On plein air, you know? And, and I'm going to do a video about, about plein air, about setting up different art kits. That way, if you want to paint like it's the 1880s, you can. <laughs> or if you want to modernize it and paint like it's the 1980s, we'll, we'll do that too. You know? And um, so, um, 
so there's also like ways to make a, a mobile sort of studio so that you can you know paint on the go if you want the, the backpack is, is a great way to do that you can take a modern take um, also the video with the backpack um, the main focus on that is having something that you can do really really quickly but also is extremely inexpensive so in the video I talk about how to how to make you know use the same paints that you're using in the studio that you can yeah you um, I mean and in, in, like just to grab a water bottle and that's your your brush yeah yeah to wash your brushes you can exactly you know the one thing I didn't put in the video was a palette and uh, what I should have said gosh I wish I'd put that in there so to add that in there now like a palette um, a lot of times you, you can just take extra um, wax paper wax wax paper on a, on a clipboard is great and also um, the stuff that you're painting on like, like your canvas panels um, they, they usually come wrapped in plastic so you can actually use one of those as a palette and then to clean it off you just take the plastic off and then and then you, you throw it away yeah and then and then then that's the next panel that you use hmm. so as long as you have one extra panel you've got a palette there you go yeah or, or Paper plates work really well, too, and they, they, you can stuff those in a backpack. Well, I should say Kristen Cram joined us and said, looks like me in a face mask lately. Nice. Oh. So, and then Mike said, I love that bag, assuming the picture. Nice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your yeah. Bag, your bag. John's <clears throat> bag is pretty worn, so. Oh, my bag is awesome. Uh, yeah. It rolls. We have discussions It goes in your bag. This. It's been all over the place. It, it's a, This is a hang-up of John's. He does not get rid of luggage. I mean... I have to force the issue. I mean, giant luggage. It's an issue. It's what? a thing. Is there something wrong with the bag? Like, for reals? Well, like, we have multiple up? of that kind of bag. Well, no. That's uh, I've only had two. I had a Jeep one. And it finally got so many holes and stuff in it. And then and then this one. But we still have it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have that. <laughs> yeah. Can't get rid okay, of okay. I think, I, think, I think I see the problem now. Okay. So, um, Emily it's joined us, unclear. too. <laughs> Emily Barksdale joined us and said, um, this works. Uh, I love your paintings. Mine bring me so much joy. Oh, so. thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for joining us. That's awesome. <laughs> it's funny. I, I really didn't get what you were saying. You're like, oh, but we still own it. And it was like, oh, click. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Um, I think, you know what the only piece of luggage I think we've ever gotten rid of is when we went to Brazil and we did, what, oh yeah, yeah yeah we took the paintings <clears throat> for the gallery show in our luggage and then when we got there we left the paintings because it was for the gallery show and we told them to just throw one of the, the pieces the suitcase of away the yeah. suitcase away that they came in because the suitcase was like falling apart and so yeah yeah it was it was, it was all like you only, know, just wonky yeah and we knew that that that, that was the last trip that we were going to take with it yeah sort of like just you know but was, most likely that was it because it was just yeah we had to get yeah but um for, for the big suitcases I always travel with art um even if i'm not doing a show i paint everywhere i have to paint every day so i, I bring stuff with me so we have the big giant hard shelled suitcases and um and they take a lot of damage. Like that thing lasted a while. I mean, while, it, it did. It lasted, and, and we, I mean, I mean, before now, we tra traveled a lot, so we'll put some miles on it. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like my little my little little art bag, my backpack. Um, I'm surprised the little wheels are still on it. It has two little wheels, and those things are just keep on trucking. Like those things have gone some miles. So um, Mike shared your your website and said uh, oh, thank I you, had Mike. to share your website since uh, I was asked. But watch parties are difficult tonight, so maybe that's oh. you know it's Thursday. It is Thursday, right? It it's is Thursday. <laughs> 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 and uh, you know, I know in our town it's typically college night, but maybe it's mm. watch party night. Mm. So well, it's a little hard with the Facebooks going down. I mean, yeah, but you know. We, we record this, so we'll splice it all together and throw it up on YouTube when it's all said and done. Yeah, and right now it's making a whole bunch of Facebook Live recordings. But I'll go in and I'm going to take all those down, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, but then then you lose the, the comments. You know what? I'll, I'll leave all those up. That way all the comments are there. And if somebody wants to jump from one to the next, they can. <laughs> there you go. But then, I'll, um, but then we have the full recording that yeah. um, we'll just keep. Yeah, That's so. cool. So this mask that you're painting on her uh -huh. is not a typical... Mask. What what kind of mask is this? I don't this know if this it's it. more. It's it's like a painter's mask. So it, it's it's made to keep like um, spray and 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 dust and stuff out. Okay. So it's it's a heavier duty mask than than your typical surgical mask. That's those you're supposed to use once and throw away. This um, it has little, little air air filters in them um, that you can swap those out and, and all that. So so that's so that that's the idea behind this. You know, is that it's. Um, 
you know, it's a little different. And I wanted to do that too for this up, more upbeat, more brightly colored sort of painting because um, it, it's weird how perceptions can change so quickly. I mean, like this kind of mask in the past would mean like, oh, you're an artist or, oh, you're a bank robber. <laughs> no, it'd be more like an artist or something. But but then you see masks like, like um, LEDs and things on it and it'd be like a raver yeah or something you know yeah. and and now when somebody has a mask like that you think oh they're health conscious or something you know? yeah in just a short matter of time the complete perception of this whole garment and this whole thing i know is, i'm i'm curious if if this turns into a, a common thing like you know i mean past this if people are just you know like are they going to wear masks just in general is this becoming acceptable that's which it's not a bad thing <laughs> Um, Ron Captain joined us and says, hi guys. Hey, it's good. It's, 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 well, welcome, welcome. Very cool. Thanks for joining. Yeah. Oh, I, I should say the, the, um, the hat. We, um, we, we watched the, the, the Blues Brothers the other day, so. And I'm, I'm, always, I'm, always, I'm always rocking the sunglasses anyway, so might as well rock the whole look. There you go. Yeah. I know, you switched from your immigrant hat or whatever that other type of hat is. Wear that all the time. I believe it's called a trilby. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dork. <laughs> My dad used to wear it all the time, and it was called, he'd call it an immigrant hat. Yeah. Um, Did he uh, really? Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. well, it was either, it was, it was his driving hat. Oh. So he was balding. Well, he was pretty much bald. So I think it was more like, I don't want to get sunburned hat. Because <laughs> he had a convertible. <laughs> so. Well. Um, Mike said that's the, speaking of the mask, that's so she doesn't get buzzed from her paints. Mm, oh, yeah. There, there you go. Exactly. There you go. She she's a health conscious raver. <laughs> she's a health conscious <laughs> raver. <laughs> Man, it's gonna try to make some sort of rave drug joke, but I don't even know what kind of drugs <laughs> ravers take. That's how that's how uncool I am. It's like yeah, with the uh, you know the drugs, <laughs> something <laughs> that they take. <laughs> I don't even know. So never mind. <laughs> so uh, Gina um, chimed in and said, "What beverages are you sipping on this evening?" So you're probably drinking what? Oh, yeah, Sprite, Sprite and rum, and I, 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 I don't usually drink anything. But yeah, you, you've, yeah, ever since the back surgery, you've yeah, yeah, I don't, back. I don't, I don't usually like I, I, I don't I'm have a, a drinking I'm, buddy anymore. I know I'm a lightweight <laughs> anymore, but um, but but Jack just left for a for a weekend and um. Now that I, yeah. you know, that drink sounds nice. So. And I'm drinking only the finest black box cab. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, and, yeah. No, I mean, um, <laughs> I definitely don't have anything against drinking or, or anything like that. I just, I don't know, just not. But um, tonight it sounded good. It's something yeah. a little, little spritey, a little. It, it's so warm. It was like 70 degrees today. I know it was really pretty it's, outside. It it's so funny nice. too now with going outside because having to jump our car. <laughs> It was like we had to be out there for a little bit, and it was like, what is this bright thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I didn't realize I haven't been outside in a while. Like, And it's been cloudy a lot. So when I have gone out in the backyard, it's been cloudy. And I went outside yesterday without my sunglasses and almost fell down because the sun hit my eyes. And I, I, I expected smoke to start coming out. I, I told Jackie I need to find some round little, little Band-Aids and stick them on my eyes. <laughs> Look, yes. <laughs> like, uh, I'm a vampire. <laughs> no sorati, run away. Like, the neighbor's kids are like, I thought you were dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I know, I ran into our neighbor next door and she was like, I haven't seen your Jeep move at all. And I was like, mm, no, no. <laughs> you, you would be accurate in that assessment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. like um, So much so that I had to jump it today. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Like, what, like I haven't left the house at all, and you've only left, like, maybe maybe every 10 days or so? Well. A week or week and a half? Yeah, like, yeah, 9, 10 days. But before that, it was, it, you know, I mean, it was, yeah, I mean, yeah, not that much. Not yeah. that much. It's crazy, isn't it? I mean, um, I mean. Normally this this time of year we like like before all this happened we were literally scheduled every day, like I mean my my st either I was in the studio doing something, a particular thing on that day or we were traveling somewhere we had a show somewhere I was giving a talk somewhere, and then it went from all that like every day being booked up until like the end of May or June or something to zero you know, yeah and um which well except like you know we're we're working on other things there's other things that we do that usually in the summer and all that moved to now. 
So still busy every day, but um, but it's you know it's it's different. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, I should say really fast. Uh, let's see. Um, Gina said black box. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, nice. You know, it's, it's, it's good. It's won awards. Yeah. So there you go. Just like Pabst. <laughs> Just like Pabst. What a blue ribbon at some point. <laughs> um, and Mike said this painting is coming out amazing. Um, oh, really love you. watching you do that so quickly. Oh, oh thank you, Mike. I, I, I appreciate that. Um, um, you know, to be honest, it's, it's a whole lot of fun. Being on here and, and chatting with you guys and, and, and doing that, it's 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 um I don't know it's it's making it flow a little a little bit quicker I think. Yeah, it's always fun. Yeah. Um, and then Kristen said, uh, "This is the first time I've been able to watch live in a really long time. Just want to thank you guys personally for the Valentine's gift as as a Patreon supporter. Thank you. Well, thank you. Um, yeah. My boyfriend works in Afghanistan and did what he could, but it honestly made me cry to get such a lovely extra surprise. Time um." Uh, that I was feeling lonely. Just wanted to let you know how much it meant to me. And the feed dropped. <laughs> well, um, are you sure? It says we're streaming live on my thing. It says live video interrupted online. Oh, it. Okay, yeah. Just stop here. How would it initiate? <laughs> this is insane. It is. I'm wondering because it's telling me like oh, initiating stream, you know, connecting, streaming live. I think we're back, guys. <laughs> this is so insane. It is, man. We, we, we haven't had this problem in a while. I know. I, I you know, I'm, I'm going to take comfort in the fact that maybe it's happening to everyone. <laughs> yeah. Well. Well. So 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 sorry, guys, for that. And so you know what? We we won't make this too 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 late tonight because. Um, it's almost been an hour and, and we've had to restart it so much and yeah, this is a little nutty. Yeah. And for everybody that's, that's stuck with us. Yeah. We really this, appreciate, we really appreciate that. And I want to say too, thank, thank you so much for your support on pa Patreon. That, that, that was so sweet. And we were just, we, we were, we, we were just saying thank you in the live and the, and the stream got cut and I hate, I hate that, but I think it just got cut again. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be like the blooper reel. This oh is ridiculous. Gosh. Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let me, let's see. It's talking to me. What's it saying? If I say anything. Well. Okay, are we on? Almost. <laughs> so, did say anywhere? Yay. Hey. You know, I feel like the thing I've said the most tonight is welcome back. Guys. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm gonna wear those. So, oh gosh, I'm wondering if we should just um, wrap well, it up. Here okay, let let's let me get in on really fast. Or, I mean, let me get in because I I want to be able to respond to some people. So, oh yeah, we really appreciate you guys sticking with us. Yeah, and and you know, navigating this ridiculous situation and jumping back on and joining us. So. Everybody that continues to do that, we really appreciate that. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe it's all the watch parties. Maybe, I mean, we haven't had this problem in a while, so I don't know if it's just Our everybody and their or... grandma wants to get online tonight, yeah. and it's just an issue. But um, we appreciate you guys sticking around with us. So, um, yeah, yeah, and I'm in no hurry to end, end it. I just, you know, was just thinking, just a little nutty. So, but um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just want to say thanks, especially, you know, Gina, Paula, Kristen, thanks, um, Mike, you know, every guy, all you guys, Ron, just sticking with us and, and joining back in. Um, <laughs> Gina said, maybe restart your router uh, in a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, you know, we could, we could. We, we could Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> yeah, really, there you go. Yeah, we could, we could, um, we could actually do that. Like I mean, we probably, yeah, soon, that is genius advice, because <laughs> I'm sure right after this we'll be like, what is going on, and then restart everything. But, um, it is what it is, man. What are you going to do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But, I mean, I was worrying about maybe doing an extra live stream this weekend or something. Oh, like yeah. We could jump or... on and, and, um, definitely jump on and, I don't know, see the progress on the painting. I think a lot of people are curious where the direction this one goes. So Me too. I think that would be good. <laughs> it would be good. Maybe, and maybe this weekend, there will be less stress on the interwebs. 
oh, for yes. watch parties. I had an idea too. I just had an idea. I was wondering about doing. I love to paint to music. Did we just lose it? No. Okay. No. <laughs> I just heard a ding. Oh, no, it's off again. What's going on? <laughs> Everybody panic. <laughs> Don't worry. Everybody panic. <laughs> um, no, but th this weekend, like the, um, at, at the, oh gosh, I can't even think of the name of it right at the moment in my brain, the, but Revelers Hall. Oh, yeah, 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 on Sunday. They do live, live streaming on, on Sunday um, of music. And I don't know if, if it's cool to do that or not, but like to stream another person's stream on your stream so you can listen to the music and then paint. But then also like put the link so if people want to go and, um, and tip them, like the band and all that, they, they, they can do that. But that might be a way that we could listen to some really amazing music, you know, maybe promote them as well. And then... Um, um, and actually paint just some music. Yeah, if that, if that, I don't, I don't know if that's would if that's terribly. I kosher, looked it up. But I looked it up. I mean, I know it's probably doable. Well, I mean, no, I mean, I can definitely do it. Yes. <laughs> but I, no, I was looking up if it's kosher or not, and I didn't see where it wasn't. <laughs> like, I mean, like because all, 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 all you're really doing is just sharing their feed. Yeah. So like, and you and you can take a person's feed and you can um, you can put it like on your website. You can code it. Yeah. And all that, so you can share it like that to put it out there, and so it kind of makes sense. I mean, you're putting a feed out there and you're wanting people to share it, you know, and all that. So for them, you know, they would be streaming it. If we're streaming it as well, then there's more chance of somebody. Like, it's really cool the way the, those those streams are done that, that they do there, where has it where you can, you can buy a T-shirt from the band or you you can buy the band a drink if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah can, we can you, definitely set up some sort of watch party. Of, and yeah, I mean, we can figure it out. That's yeah, I mean, I was wondering because, like, you know, because we could do a watch party, but then I, I could paint and I could actually take colors from the music and put it. Yeah. Anyway, I've been trying to think of ways to be able to put music into, into this, and you can't because everything is copyrighted. But the music that they, they play, even though it's like it's like New Orleans sort of jazz. Well, yeah, Gina said maybe ask their permission first before and then prior to the stream. Which is exactly what I was thinking, because that's that's uh, that's that's a really good idea. Yeah. <laughs> but, you, but you can also just kind of go rogue. And, I don't you know. think you can go rogue. I don't <laughs> think you can go rogue, man. <laughs> Let's not go rogue. <laughs> well, yeah. So, you know, it, it you guys be, are smart. You it, guys are. Uh, I should probably bow to y'all's knowledge. It could be always. It's it's a numbers game because I I would imagine just like us, you you want numbers. You want you want people to watch. You want it to reflect that people are watching and everything. Mm -hmm. So I think it's. It's probably got to, it, it ties into like, you know, is there a way to like, how, how am I getting numbers? Yeah. So, you know, it's the nitty gritty of it all, but. Yeah, I'll, I'll look into it more and we can always send, send them uh, the, the Revelers Hall thing, a, um, um, email or, you know, yeah. try, try and reach oh, out yeah, to yeah, them yeah. And, and see, but, but. Buy them but, a shot. Or yeah. Run the shots. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe around a beer. I don't know if we can afford them a shot. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> During during all this all this turmoil, who knows? <laughs> uh, no, no, that 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 would be a good idea. To, yeah, to buy them something. So yeah, Gina says no going rogue. Don't do that. Oh <laughs> man! But you okay. guys are smart. You're so probably right. We are past nine o'clock. We have restarted the stream way too many times. Uh, why well. why don't you tell us what you're gonna do next, so we can leave everybody yeah. in suspense for the next time. <laughs> we do this. Well, nice. Okay. Okay. You guys ready for it? <laughs> prepare yourself. Yeah, prepare yourself. I'm gonna <laughs> drop some knowledge. <laughs> Here we go. Um, so, I was hoping to to get all the white in the hair covered up today. Actually, I was hoping to get it all blocked out, but um, but I'm I'm almost there. So so almost all all of the hair is just about um, it's just about there. So here, I'll, so you can see there and all that. Um, you might be able to see Echo. Can you, can they see Echo? Uh, on the on the no. on the ground. No. Oh, because I hear her snoring right there. Oh, you can see her back feet. <laughs> oh, can you? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if you'd be able to tell what that is. Okay, because I because I, I I could hear her down there. Okay. Well. <laughs> um. So, yeah. I'm sorry. Anyway, I, I got I got distracted by the by, by the pups and stuff. But um, so I'm gonna get all this covered up and then I'm gonna start put laying in. I really like the idea of the thicker color, so I'm going to think about that. If I decide to go thick, then I'm going to start laying that in with a paint knife. And then um, if I don't, then I'm just going to start putting in strands of color. And then I'll, I'll put in white and black. Um, for the face, I'm going to 
do exactly what I'm doing with the hair. But so I'm gonna block in the colors, but it's gonna be subtle shifts. I'm thinking light yellows, like light lemon yellows, um, some some nice pinks, um, a little bit of burnt sienna maybe, which is sort of an orangey kind of color, and maybe and then some bright colors as well. For the face mask, uh, I'm thinking more of dioxinine purple, which is the darker purple around the edges, going into some lighter purples and blues, and from deeper royal blues to um, I don't know, some light blues. And on the neck, it's sort of a, um, a copy of almost what's going to go on her face, I think, except it's going to be deeper. Nice. So it's going to be a lot more like a, more like the shadows and stuff going in there, which I've kind of put in here. You can sort of see where those shadows and different things are going. Yeah. So that's, so, so that's the idea behind all that. Um, it, I think we just lost it. Oh. Oh, man. I went on too long, didn't I? <clears throat> um, are we doing this live or are we, should I just message people and be like, not sure what's going on? Oh, no, we're on there. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> uh, so guys, guys, we just I came back up. to say goodbye really quickly. Up. I'm so sorry. I, I went on too long. Uh, it's um, like one of those phone calls where you're just like, it accidentally, you just got to, you know, well, the I, answering machine. I don't even know. I had to come back one last time just, 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 just to put it because <laughs> Eagle was finally on the Eagle cam. Oh um, yeah, Eagle. <laughs> I finally heard her. I heard her go over there and lay and lay, lay, lay down. But you're a sweetheart, baby. You're so good, Eagle. Oh, 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 oh no! I oh, say now, your name now she's gonna come say. Oh, she's gotta come say. You see what you did? Sorry, darling. You should lay down. Oh, anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. And okay, she's going nuts. All right, so when good dogs attack. Yes. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for tuning in, guys. Sorry that it's been a crazy night. I'm not sure if it's us or the interwebs. I'm gonna blame the interwebs. <laughs> um, but might as uh, well. We, we really appreciate you guys sticking with us, and um, if you want to see this thing all over again without the breaks, we'll post it on um, YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, so for sure, like guys. and subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thank you guys so much, and we're probably going to be streaming again this weekend. We'll try to make up for this weird internet outage. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks. <laughs> Bye.